In this specific video, you're going to learn how to add a subscription form widget onto your WordPress site to gather leads. Now, the purpose of a subscription form is to build your mailing list. And let's say you have a WordPress site about wedding planning and you want to capture the people that come to your website. In order to do that, in order to keep up with them and communicate with them, you need to grab their information. Now, this is going to help you grab their information because they are potential prospects who can become consumers and customers later down the road. So in order to do this, you're going to need to have access to a mailing list or an autoresponder. And you can use anything you want. You can use GetResponse.com, you can use MailChimp, you can use Aweber.com, or any other autoresponder system. You basically need to go to one of these places that allow you to build your mailing list, and you need to get the code, and you need to copy that code onto your WordPress widget. Now, the best way to capture the lead or the prospect's email address so that you can communicate with them later down the road is to offer them a free report or some sort of free gift. Now, the free gift needs to be of value. So you need to think, okay, what is something that somebody is willing to pay for that is related to my site that I can give away for free? Now, without going into too much marketing detail, that's basically how it works. You put the subscription form onto your widget, onto your WordPress site, they fill in their information, they get the free report, then you get their email address and you start building your list. So capturing leads is important. And in this case, I'm gonna be using Aweber and you can go to Aweber, you can create your list, there's information on how to create a list. And what we're doing now is simply grabbing the opt-in code and placing that onto our WordPress site. So right now you're looking at the design form and I can simply grab their name and their email. And what I like about Aweber is you can customize it. So if you want to edit the header and you can put something like to or grab your free wedding planning tips reports below. Click on save and then you've got your call to action here. You can either grab their name and their email address or you can just grab their email address. In this case, I'm going to make it fairly simple. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to remove this. And you can resize it if you want to do so. But I'm going to leave it like this. Once I'm satisfied, I can click on Save Web Form. And I can go to step number two. And I'll go through the settings and I'll go to step three. And what I want to do now is get the code. So I'm going to click on I will install my form. And you can either grab the JavaScript or the HTML. In this case, I'm going to grab the JavaScript simply because using the JavaScript will enable you to track statistics in your account. So this is the best option. So copy this and go back to the WordPress dashboard. So make sure that you get the code for your opt-in form, whether you use GetResponse, Aweber, or anything like that, you can use the JavaScript. Now, in this case, I need to create a text widget and simply go down here you're going to see a text widget and simply drag and drop this into the main sidebar and at this moment simply click on the drop down menu and enter and paste the JavaScript here click on save and that's it 
Now, you can go to the live site. And the opt-in form should be on the right side. So as you can see here, we've got the WordPress blog and you can see that the opt-in form is here and anytime somebody goes to any of your pages, they're going to see this opt-in form. So this is a great way to capture leads on your website.